K-9 officer Steve Honer and Officer Blue are inseparable. Even when marijuana was legalized, they trained together so that Blue didn't have to retire. Having Blue, um, I learn just as much every day as, as, as he does. Um, it's a never-ending process. You know, we, we try and train at least 20 to 30, 40 minutes a day, you know, during my regular work week. Steve Honer and Blue are Butte's only K-9 unit. The K-9 unit began in 2014, but Blue wasn't on the team until 2015 when another dog didn't work out for the unit. Steve Honer, Butte Silver Bow Police Sergeant and K-9 officer, says the unit has been going strong ever since. Learning each other and establishing a bond, um, learning his tells. It's not like anybody can just grab my dog and, and go and try and do a search, even though Blue's going to go through the motions, but they're not going to quite know what to look for. Blue is certified in tracking and finding narcotics such as heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamines. When marijuana became legalized, Honer worked and trained with Blue for weeks to not alert for the drug by rewarding him when he ignored and alerted to a different drug. He gets his reward with high drive and high praise and and for him, it's, it's nothing but playtime. The unit has had over 250 deployments, over 90 felony arrests, and over 50 misdemeanor arrests. They've seized over two pounds of meth and under a pound of heroin during their deployments. He is an aggressive alerter, which means that he's going to scratch and indicate exactly where the narcotics are at. Before surrounding agencies in different counties got canines, Honer and Blue were making trips to Anaconda, Jefferson County, and helping highway patrol. They saw the benefits of it, and now they've got their own dogs. Blue will be turning eight in December, and Honer says his partner is still just as good as a puppy. When it comes time for Blue to retire, he'll be with Honer until the end. Having him as a partner, I mean, it's... I, I couldn't ask for a better partner. In Butte, Caitlin Aguilas, MTN News.